<laughs> Oops. There's a good chance you've held something made of pet type today. This type of plastic is one of the most widely recycled plastics in the world. Clear Pet has one of the highest recycling market values, as it can be turned into products of similar quality and form. Additionally, the recycling process is simple. Pet is used to make bottles of soda and water. It's also used to make cooking oil containers and plastic peanut butter jars. HDPE is another widely recycled plastic worldwide. It's a durable, hard plastic that can withstand most solvents. Thus, it's commonly used for cleaning or personal care product containers. Since it's not usually used for food products, except milk bottles, it has a high market value and can be recycled more often than many other plastics. PVC is a soft, flexible plastic and durable plastic that is not easily impacted by sunlight, water, or other harsh conditions. Due to this, it is commonly used across different industries, including construction, plumbing, and transport. Plastic tubing, toys, plastic trays, and traffic cones are often made from PVC. LDPE is a soft and lightweight plastic that is less toxic than other plastics, which makes it popular for food use. However, due to the flimsy nature of the plastic, it is often only for single-use applications. Squeezable bottles, many plastic wrappings, and grocery bags are made of LDPE plastic. PP is a tough and lightweight plastic that is known for its excellent heat resistance, which makes it popular to use in takeaway shops. Additionally, it is considered safe for continued reuse as it's unlikely to leach chemicals and break down over time. PP is used to make disposable cups and food containers used for products like yogurt, sour cream, and margarine, as well as bottle caps. Polystyrene, also commonly known as styrofoam, has a variety of uses but is falling out of general use across the world as it's hard to recycle and breaks down into small pieces that can harm the ecosystem. Polystyrene comes in two forms, the hard, compressed PS that is often used in food packaging, and the other form is the expanded polystyrene, EPS, which is the lighter puffed version like styrofoam plates. Any type of plastic that doesn't fit into one of the first six categories falls under this heading. Products stamped with a number 7 are often made out of multiple plastic types or out of other types of plastic that can't easily be recycled. Water cooler jugs and baby bottles are a few examples categorized in plastic type number 7. The plastic resin codes and symbols were developed in 1988 by the Society of Plastics Institute SPI, to facilitate the sorting of plastics. Plastics type number 1 PETE, and number 2 HDPE, are the most commonly recycled plastics, as their recycling is easier. Plastics number 3 through number 7 are generally tougher to recycle. Plastic production has been rapidly increasing since the 1950s. Every 15 years, the quantity of plastic being produced has doubled. This is the fastest increase of any man-made material ever. One good way to stem the production of plastic is to recycle plastic that has already been produced and use it to make new products. After collecting the plastic material that is to be recycled, they are transported to a recycling facility and will go through a sorting process. Then, the plastic will be washed to get rid of any labels or remaining residue. As shown in the animation here, the plastic water bottle will go to an area of the recycling facility where it will be fed into a shredder, which breaks it down into much smaller pieces. The plastic is dried, melted, and formed into pellets. These recycled plastic pellets can be reused for manufacturing new products. One example of manufacturing new products is injection molding. It is one of the most common processes used to produce plastic components and is used to produce similar components from recycled plastic pellets. Here the virgin pellets and recycled pellets are mixed and fed into the hopper at the top of the machine. As the screw turns, these pellets are fed gradually into the barrel of the machine. The turning of the screw and the heat from the barrel gradually warm and melt the pellets until it is molten. Once the molten plastic reaches the end of the barrel, the gate closes, and the screw moves back to build up the pressure for injection. At the same time, the two parts of the mold tool close together and are held under high pressure. Once most of the plastic is injected into the mold, it is held under pressure for a set period. Then the pressure is released, and the part is allowed to cool. Now the part is mostly formed, and pins can eject the part from the tool. Now let's show all the plastic recycling processes in one picture. The first step in the recycling process is the collection of the plastic material and transporting them to a recycling facility. 
As we explained earlier in this video, there are numerous types of plastics in use today. Hence all of the plastic materials must be separated by type, as shown in step 2. In step 3, the recycled plastics will go through the washing process to remove impurities and residues. In step 4, the shredding machine will break down the plastic components into much smaller pieces. In step 5, the plastic pieces are tested for their class and quality, segregated based on density, and transformed into pellets for reuse. In step 6, these recycled plastic pellets will be reused for manufacturing new products. It is important to note the reprocessed materials are usually blended with virgin pellets before the molding process since there is the possibility of deterioration in various characteristics of the plastics because of the initial molding process. The maximum allowable limit for the ratio of reprocessed materials is about 30 to 50 percent. As it stands today, the plastics recycling process faces many challenges, and unlike glass, aluminum, steel, and many other metals, plastics are not infinitely recyclable meaning that with each subsequent processing, the recycled material degrades and is of lesser quality than virgin materials. Meanwhile, certain types of plastics are not as easily recycled as other types of plastics and might end up in landfills and be harmful to our ecosystem. One solution to this problem is to reduce our dependency on plastics and use alternative materials that are better suited for recycling. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more videos by subscribing to our channel. Goodbye.